What's up everybody and welcome back to Retro Bowl Anti-Trade and Cut where today we are trying to move to 6-5 and five and break a two game losing streak where we lost to Tampa Bay by two and Kansas City by an entire touchdown. But anyways, let's see what the 3-7 and seven Kansas City, not Kansas City, Cincinnati Bengals have for us. We do start with the football here. Let's see what we can do. It's raining here in, uh, are we in Cincinnati? We're in Cincinnati. Because the end zones are orange. That's what that means. Okay. I don't know if I chose the right side of the field to move to. Because there were more blockers up on this part of the field rather than this part. And I pretty much gave the defense what they were hoping and easy to hit target with little to no blockers to stop them I just didn't think that through whatsoever and uh, Shepard should be open here let's throw it up to him see if he can catch it give him the 50-50 the ball he did come down with it so oh it's Sharif not Shepard um, yeah, I forgot how terrible this running back was. Although I somehow, some way, got six yards with him. Despite how insanely slow he is. Um, he's not a bad receiving back. When he's open, he's open. I mean, he doesn't really drop the football is what I was meaning by that. So in the receiving game, he's not terrible. It's just he's so slow, he's not very useful <laughs> because by the time he gets open you're already sacked when you try and run with him the defenders are meeting him at the line of scrimmage or in the backfield almost every single time so it's hard to play with this running back but he is destroying Cincinnati at the moment I'm talking so bad about him I guess he's trying to prove that he's actually worth something and he's doing a good job at it. I mean, on that drive, he was the big man. He kept Cincinnati on their toes. Or on the edge of their seat. I guess on their toes since they're not sitting down. But he kept the bench thinking, when are they going to stop this guy? Like, is that Derrick Henry out there? No, I wish it was Derrick Henry. It's not even on my team anymore. Not even on the Titans. I don't even remember who picked him up. Was it Baltimore? Comment down below if it is Baltimore or not. Or who picked up Derrick Henry. I think it was Baltimore. I don't know. That's just the only team name that's sticking in my mind. Which uh, just makes me think. Uh, maybe I'm right. Maybe it is Baltimore. I don't know. I'll need you guys to fact check me on that one. As the Titan has done nothing, I just realized that. Normally he's like my number one guy. No, it's uh, normally Sharif. And then probably Titan, then Devi. But Devi showed up more than uh, the Titan has. I don't even know his name. If you've noticed. That's why I call him the tight end, because I don't know his name. <clears throat> Kao here is uh, doing really well, though. For as terrible as he is, I am surprised at how well he is running and catching the football and run after catch and all that. I think it's Kelly, actually. I think that's the name of the tight end. It is. I don't know how I knew that, but I did. Got his first catch, and I kind of forced it to him. I was just trying to get him involved. And I forced it to him. He broke two tackles, though, so I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Um, Sharif, are you open? Or is that Devi? That was Devi, but Sharif actually caught that one. To answer my 
own question, Sharif was not open. Devi was open. <laughs> As Ko, the running back, has got both touchdowns now. It is surprising how well he is playing. I don't understand it. Why is he playing good? I don't know. We actually held Cincinnati at only three in the first half. That's not too bad. And they miss a field goal. I'm guessing they did have the wind. No, the wind should be with them. So they just don't have a solid kicker or a kicker, period. Because uh, they were on the 20. That's extra point range. And they missed it. And they have the wind on their side. Unless if it changed over the halftime, which it could have. Don't get me wrong. The wind could have changed, and that might be why it is. But we'll know when I need to kick one. Because if it changed that much, I might miss one. But I don't think it would change that much. If not, just maybe a little to the left or a little to the right. Or might even slow down or get a little higher, but it doesn't matter. The wind is on their side. I don't know. It's either they have a crappy kicker or the wind changed over half. Over the half. And Devi could not get around the defender there. <clears throat> now, Kelly got involved for like two or three passes there. And I kind of haven't seen him much. And I forced the pass to him on one of those. As Sharif made their entire defense look silly. Kind of just danced around them all. I think I'm going to lob it up there to Sharif. He should just come down with it. Yeah, he does. Now let's see. Is the wind really that bad? See, because that's... Okay, yeah, it did change severely. That's rare. It rarely ever does that, but it... It completely changed directions over the half. That explains why I missed it. They do get a touchdown there, and we do stop them on the two point, and we stop an onside kick. Okay. Just absolutely destroy Cincinnati, I guess. It's a. I was going to say it's a hate crime against Cincinnati. Ah, uh, yes, that's exactly what it is. It's uh, what the Chiefs wish they could do to Cincinnati. I think, I don't know, Cincinnati was terrible this season. Everyone expected so much from them, and they gave you nothing. Joe Burrow got injured again, and when he was back, he didn't play that well. So much for being a starting quarterback for the team for his whole career. I doubt that. Well, I mean, I guess he probably will because no one can afford his contract. But I don't know. He just, for what he's being paid, they expected another deep playoff run from him. And I get the injury happens, but he wasn't injured for that long, it doesn't feel like. Maybe, well, maybe it was longer than I think. It was. We do move to 6-5. and five. We need San Francisco to lose so we can get in. Philadelphia and Dallas both win. Of course they do. I'm going to praise the team. Coach is kind of, eh, I don't care about the coach. Let's see here. Throw accuracy is good. Arm strength's good. I guess I'll go more accuracy. I've had no problem with him. We do have a game against Philadelphia. We have not won against Philadelphia or Dallas. But maybe we can handle them both. Their third loss. Well, Dallas might have third loss by the time we play them. But anyways. If you enjoyed this episode, uh... Uh, retro bowl please hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the little bell so you know when and what i upload i'll see you in the next one bye guys